Hello, everybody. It's been a minute. <laughs> it has been a pretty hot minute since I have uploaded, and I'm going to give you a detailed reason why. But <clears throat> first, before we get into this video, quick shout out to the amazing people at Shield Camp <clears throat> uh, for allowing me to be able to do this. And I'm going to make a video on it. So, big shout out to you. Also, um, big shout out personally to Mike. He was my favorite SRO. <laughs> so, um, I think I should start out with day one. Alright, so day one, uh, I got dropped off at like 10 a.m. And we're off... Ten, no, three miles away from anyone, but because we're driving a bus through a really small trail, it takes us like 30 minutes to get up there. So, when they get up there, we unload all of our stuff, and some of my friends are coming. So, we unload all of our stuff, we get close amongst each other, and we settle in, and we eat lunch, and then it's basically just the first thing. It's like, get settled, get everything, um, get like whatever I need. So, basically, uh, yeah. Alright, and then we went to sleep the first night. Um, my friend has a little bit of anger issues, so that kind of blew up that night, too. So, but it's whatever. Like, like everyone went to sleep after he yelled at him. Alright, day two. Tuesday. So, um, that morning, we had to wake up at, like, Seven. Is we had to leave here by eight. We we had to leave the camp by eight because because we had to go fishing. Actually, over I can't say the actual location because I don't want to get stopped. But over by Tonesky. Um. So basically, uh, it was fun. I didn't catch anything, but <laughs> who cares? <laughs> uh. So yeah, and then. You know, another thing was the fact is that we had Little Caesars that day, which was pretty nice. We had it out uh, down there. And then we went tubing. It was my first ever time going tubing, and I did not think that I would like it as much as I did. You know, it was rough at the beginning, but then... Um, uh, what happened was, uh, amazing. It just turned into being amazing. Um, and then we got back to the camp, and, uh, if you guys don't know, I don't know if, all right, you guys know my friend, uh, Noah, Fire Game 72? He was there, Fire, so Fire Game 72 was there, and another friend of mine, CJ, I think I mentioned him on my channel before. Shout out to both of them. They are amazing friends that I have. Um, yeah, so Fire Game 72 got a little angry and threw a, a fan at CJ's head. But we're, we're, we're not going to talk about that part. So, uh, and then Wednesday, we were um, home. I uh, know home. I'm at home right now, but we've been, but we were at camp the whole, the whole day, and it, and it was really a chill day, um, and we did water stuff, blah, 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 and until one of the pe one of the girls there started coming out crying, because we have a little trail that goes through the back, um, one of the girls came out crying, saying that, um, they were, that they saw a bear. So we all gathered up in the pavilion, and we waited for stuff to happen. Nothing happened. We really think that she did just to get attention. So, um, but I won't admit, um, not really that scary. I mean, I'm like, I mean, listen, I'm I'm at a camp with a bunch of uh, police officers. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Um. And they're and they're all deputies as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, we 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 mess around with each other so much, like so much. Um, it's so funny. Um, 
like because one of the SROs that goes to my school, the guys are telling me to mess with her, and so I did. And uh, she she she's like, you better not um, you better not uh. <laughs> well, no, my signature phrase while we were there became uh, watch <laughs> watch your next words very closely because I would always say that. She said to me at the beginning of camp, you realize that next year, me, it being your final year at Brevard Academy, I can make it a living hell. And I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, she has, so she had a valid point, and I have my valid point. So. But we, like, mess around with each other, like, so much. But anyway, they shut down the trail in the Gaga Pump, in the Gaga Ball Pit that day because, uh, just for safety reasons, they wanted to, and I didn't care because I don't because I didn't go on the trail or play Gaga Ball that often, so I didn't care. And then Thursday came along. Um, Thursday came along, and that day oh, is um it was a pretty interesting day. That morning we went to Anchor uh, Baptist, uh, that that food shelter that has to that has stuff that they can give out to people that don't have food and stuff. We helped them out. I folded. I, me and my group, we we broke down boxes, and we had blisters at the end of our fingers. But they said that we were the most heartbroken group that they had ever had. So fun. Uh, and then we went to have lunch in the forest, and then we went to Sliding Rock. Now, I don't know if you had know this or not, or, or anything like that. Sliding Rock, people love to do Sliding Rock. Um, I had never done it before, so I was really scared. And I put my foot in the water, and I realized, yep, yeah, nope, I can't do this. I did tubing, but I can't do this. And so we watched for about an hour, and then we went to go and get Dolly's um, ice cream. I don't know if you guys have had it, but it's really good. I, I got the Eagle's Nest, where it's like two scoops of ice cream with like um, chocolate uh, chunks and like um, gummy worms. It's it's really good. Um, no Friday. Oh boy, I can't tell you how many mental breakdowns I had. Until Friday, it was just hard because I miss my family so much. I had uh, there's a lot that's happened in my past that I'm not going to share at the moment, but um, they come up because for me, I get distracted by things a lot, and when there's nothing there to distract you because you can't bring your phone or anything, um, it's hard. I mean, like it's really hard. Um. It's honestly really hard. Um, well, you know, it's like, it, it just gets hurt sometimes. So I didn't think that I was, was going to make it through Wednesday. I mean, it's Friday. We finished off strong. And then this morning I woke up at like 2 in the morning. We saw a raccoon and they... And some of the boys just decided to chase the thing. And I was like, well, I'm not stupid enough, so I'm not going to chase the thing. So I went back to sleep. They woke us up to take us home. I got to see my family. I almost cried. Yeah, um, and then I was supposed to upload this video, like, at 12. But I then I forget, just forgot to, so, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will start and I will start uploading more. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.